Hi, everybody. How are you? Oh, I'm just having a little bit of coffee. Hmm. I guess I had to prove it to you. <laughs> Weird. Um, we're going to do a little pumpkin draping. Have you ever heard of pumpkin draping? Yeah? No? Hmm. I hadn't either um, because I just sort of like made it up along with the help of my sister Maya. Yesterday I'm like, okay, look at this really fun idea. And I showed her what I did to this pumpkin. Here, I'll show you. <laughs> and I, oh, hi mom. And I draped it in this beautiful fabric. I mean, that's a real pumpkin in there. And then I said, what should I call it? And she's like, pumpkin draping. I'm like, are you kidding me? That sounds like something legitimate. Hi, Steve. So thus, pumpkin draping now exists. And I'm super excited to bring this to you. Anyway, so, okay. So I'm gonna show you a little bit about like the what, what we need to get started. A pumpkin. Now, many of you may want to use um, a fake pumpkin, and that's fine too. I'm using real ones because, I don't know, next year I'll have a new favorite craft and I'll say, oh, I want to do that. So I'm not, gonna, I'm not planning on saving all of these pumpkins. So because of that and because how easy this is and because I know that next year I'll have a new favorite fabric, um, I'm using real pumpkins so that they really look like legitimate pumpkins and they will also have the weight of a pumpkin. The fake pumpkins uh, are great, especially for spray painting and things like that, but uh, they don't have that, that sturdiness that you really kind of want um, for a good craft project, in my opinion. Okay. So that's the one thing we need is a pumpkin. Many of you have been to the pumpkin patch I went this weekend with my kiddos, minus my hubby. <laughs> I can't wait for him to get home. I'm just not the same right now. <sighs> He's been gone all weekend, so it was a really fun mommy's weekend, but um, you know, it would be nice to have him back. He went to see the Patriots play and win, which is great. So get your pumpkin and then get a fabric. I'm gonna show you the ones that I picked out. Um, we're working with, oh, that one's connected. Hang on. So this is the one that I'm working on um, today, working with today. It's so pretty. And actually, I think I might make a cape out of the rest of it. Not for me, like for, for Clover. Wouldn't that be cute, like a little Halloween cape or some sort of skirt? I don't even know. So that's this. Um, and then I showed you the other one that I used. I got all of these fabrics. Hi, Luann. I got all of these fabrics at a Joann's Fabric craft store okay and the great thing about them is that they were all on sale can you believe that I love shopping at the craft stores right now because everything is like super for sale and then this one isn't this cool I love this so I got to come up with something cool for this one too if I don't drape a pumpkin in it all right so I'm gonna set up the shot so you can watch how easy this is and um, I don't know I sometimes I think it'd be really cool if you guys had all of your um, like craft supplies ready and we did this together in real time, wouldn't that be fun? I think that would be fun. Okay, so here's our shot. I think that looks good. I'll get my coffee out of there. Let me move this stuff out of the way so it's nice and clean for you. And yeah, let's, um, let's do this. This is so easy. So I have half of the pumpkin Un completely unfinished and of course the other half I got started look how smooth that is gorgeous right okay so what you want to do is you want to have your hot glue gun all ready to go okay so mine is you want to take a piece of fabric like this a nice strip cut your strips however you want to cut your strips um, you know I kind of like fold up mine and then cut a small cut and then they unravel like this here I'll show you real quick so cut cut your strips I'll show you this and then I did two at a time see come on okay so there I have two at a time okay so you take your strip and of course before you start cutting your strips you want to make sure that they're long enough to go all the way underneath the pumpkin like that oopsie like this all the way like that okay so 
At the top of your strip, we want this to not look like something we made. We want it to look like something we bought. So you're going to go like this so you have a nice finishing edge. Don't look at my nails. I need to get them done. Whatever. I'm kind of over the gel right now. How do you guys feel about gel? I kind of feel like my nails need a break. And I don't even know if I'm loving that look right now. I don't know. I love how they stay on forever. You know, the nail polish never goes away. So you just put the glue right at that top. Okay? And then just give it, hold it down a little bit. And what you're going to do is you're going to go around. Boom, boom, boom. Okay, and that's sort of your first layer. So we'll take another one. Do the same process. Literally, this thing should seriously only be taking you about 20 minutes to do, depending upon the size of your pumpkin. Okay, so now we do another little dollop right here. So I wanna tell you guys, I know I'm late to the party on this, but I finally got a chance last night because Mike was gone, even though I think that he would love this documentary. To watch the documentary, the Lady Gaga documentary, Five Foot Two, he would love it. Um, it was so inspiring. It was seriously so great. I woke up this morning and I'm like, I wish I could sing, you know, or just be like that cool. And yeah, I am crafting pumpkins right now, so of course I'm super cool. I am super cool. <laughs> Hi, Carrie. My mom, mom, you're taking a, a gel break too? We're always on the same page with these things. Okay, so we keep going, we keep going. I'll do one more of these and then I'll show you how you kind of move on to the next layer, okay? Whoopsie, got a little crazy there. And then, you know, this part is very important. The part at the top, because we don't want to see too much of the glue, okay? Okay, so you see how, um, you see how the top looks? Like I went all the way around the top. And now what we're gonna go, we're gonna start filling in these blank spots, okay? We, we're gonna put one here, we're gonna put one here, and one here. And then there will probably be another layer. Anywhere you see any pumpkin, we put another strip. A tip to this, to making this really great, is you want to let the glue completely dry so it's nice and cold, which doesn't take long at all. But while we're waiting for this to dry, we're going to go to the back side. Okay? Right over here. These were two that I... And... What you're going to do is you're going to find the bottom most layer, okay, so lift up this one, and this is a bottom layer, and that's the layer that you're going to glue down to the bottom of the pumpkin. And you want to hold it in the middle, so you'll smooth out the top, and then hold it tightly, and then pull, okay? That's how we're going to get this, like, seamless looking pumpkin. And you just put a little dollop down here, like that, that, that amount, and again, hold it tight in the middle and then pull. You don't want to just like pull really hard the whole strip because, you know, you don't want the, the strip flying off from the top. And then just hold it still. Oh my gosh, I just love the look of this. And I love a beautiful white or, um, I gotta show you this fairy tale. Do you know what I'm talking about? The fairy tale pumpkin. I'm gonna go grab that for you guys because that is my favorite pumpkin right now. But these fabric pumpkins, I mean, there is no end in sight to what we can create with this. Okay, so see what we're doing? That bottom layer is down, and this is one of those top layers. Okay, and we're gonna bring that down next. Okay, so we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna kind of see, okay, where do we need to put the glue? Ah, uh, okay, we got that. Where's my glue gun? And then put there. Again, you hold it in the center and then pull. Okay. Oh, it's a little hot. And just look at this, you guys. Just look at this. Let's do this one together and then we'll have a full side that is complete. And then I'll show you the next step. 
Here we go. Yeah, five foot two was so inspiring. And I had no idea. I mean, I'm not like a super um, Lady Gaga fan. I like her music, but I've never been, you know, a monster, one of her little monsters. Um, but wow, she is, I didn't know she was living in so much pain. Like I had no idea that she had so much back and hip pain and like all the pain and everything that she's had to work through. You wouldn't know it because she's so tough. Okay, and if you see little edges, of course I'm a total perfectionist when it comes to a craft, then cut them off. You want it to look nice and smooth and pretty. Okay, there. There's that. And then we wanna cover that spot. I know I said to let it dry completely, and that is what ideally you would do, but since this is a live video, I'm just gonna glue it down. Okay, so hold it there, nice and taut, and there you have it. Woo! You guys, does this not look like, first of all, a shirt that you would wanna wear? I mean, of course this pumpkin looks adorable. It's like I'm making clothes for a pumpkin like my grandma used to do for that for the goose remember the goose in the midwest that everyone had the the goose and then they make clothes for the for the geese anyway i don't know you guys probably think i'm insane okay so look at this look at this so you see how there's a little bit of like a i don't know if you can see that this part right here boom and boom i would put one more right over it and then look at that though but look how smooth this looks you guys is this not beautiful? So yeah, you'll just finish up the rest of the pumpkin and this is what it looks like. Voila. Now, if you do a smaller pumpkin like this, what you'll notice is at the end, it's not going to stand correctly. Watch. Boink. Right? But it's no big deal. All you have to do is create a little um, rope ring and it sort of acts as its stand. That way you don't have to really worry about it. Look at how cute is that? And you just, you know, you have to balance it in there just right. And there you have it. So this one, because it's bigger and it has a larger base, it might not be a problem at all. But if it is, like, it's no big deal. Because look at, I already have this cut and ready to go. And then you just put it into a little circle, oops, like this to fit the bottom of your base. And of course you hot glue it, you hot glue it, and you hold it, and then you just set your pumpkin in it. And people won't, don't even look at the bottom. They're like, oh my God, that's just such a pretty pumpkin. So anyway, that's pumpkin draping. I hope that you liked it. I, I'm really excited to hear what you guys have to say. And if you have favorite patterns, like favorite fabric patterns, uh, will you post a picture of, of your fabric? Because I would I love being inspired by other people's ideas and especially fabric patterns. If you, if you do have something that you really, really love, also say where you got it so that people can check that out. Because I'm always looking for something. I love Joann's, don't get me wrong, and it's always fun to go in there and see what they have. But there's not a lot of other places. You know what I mean? Like I don't, I, and I live in LA, and of course there is a, well, there are other places. I shouldn't say that there are not. There are. And we should, I'm going to take you guys live to mood. Do you ever watch Project, One, Project Runway? Project Runway. And they go to mood fabric. Is Project Runway still on? I think it is. Anyway, when I used to watch it back in the day, they would go to mood. And it's such a cool fabric store. Now, they really, truly have everything there. And totally unique stuff that you're like, what? You know, where did you get that? And it's like there. Oh my God, I just had an idea of wrapping these in fake leather or fake snake skin, sort of like um, Elizabeth Weinstock. You know how I did that video with that designer the other day and she wraps everything in snake skin? Well, you could get like a faux skin and you could wrap your pumpkin in it. Why didn't I do that? Anyway, it's not too late. Okay, mom, thank you for saying that you love the pumpkins. That means a lot. Okay, you guys, please share this video. Let me leave with a shot of our beautiful pumpkin. Isn't it gorgeous? I'm going to finish it up, of course. I will post pictures, and then I will also write up a little blog so that you guys remember how to do this. Okay, have a wonderful day. Bye, guys.